When I first entered the space, I was like, wow, this place is huge. It's big. There's a lot of opportunity. I pictured this space in use for a place for teens to come and just be creatively free to express what's ever on their minds. I work with Ignite after school program here in Santa Paula. We work with teenagers uh, in Santa Paula that are just looking for ways to just express themselves, looking for ways to just start a career. And any kids that come through our doors that are interested in the arts and just being creative, we look at uh, sending them over here and creating some sort of partnership with them where the kids can take the next step into being creative and explore their options in the, in the arts. When I look at the space here of the Cole Creativity Center, um, right now because there's nothing in it, I look at a blank canvas with a lot of opportunities. And I see and envision many different things. We want to empower our kids with a lot of different um, forms of experiences in, a, in their local environment. And art is huge. Being a former educator, I know this is weird to say, but everybody focuses on academics, but you need to look at the whole child. And art and creativity is part of that, what makes a whole child. The new concept that educators use, that I use, uh, you build maker spaces. And a maker space can be different hands-on activities that give kids the ability to create. And the whole thing about art is you think out of the box, you create, and you feel good. There is no right, there is no wrong. And that's the important thing to instill in kids, in adults, is there is no right or there is no wrong. It's all individualized creativity and it's fun. I just I was so excited to hear that this place was gonna be kind of gutted and the ceilings were gonna come out and it was just gonna be this big open space. I would love to have it a space for not just art, but for music and for dance and for drama with the team program at the museum. I'd love to see a place where they can come and just explore, create, learn some new things. We can actually take on a big project, you know, and work on it for several months and then and turn it into something really just great to share with with the public. To have a creative space kind of offers that next level of um, inclusion and I think you can get uh, more people to feel like they can be involved in it because it's, it's so much more inviting. I have a lot of students that come to Santa Paula High School and the first question I ask them on the first day, um, I bring them all up to the front to embarrass them and I say, okay, what's your name? Okay, what grade are you in? And then I say, have you taken an art class before? And normally what I get is no. And I would love to have more students say, you know, um, over at the Santa Paul Art Museum, um, I took these classes in the summer and I did this and that. So we can get students that are uh, already a little bit more aware of their creative uh, skills and, and uh, already have an interest in art. It would be a great thing for younger kids to, to have that outlet. I give a lecture to my students at the end of each year because I know I'd love all 36 in each class to become artists. I mean, I know that's not going to happen, and so I try to tell them that, you know, be creative in any facet of your life. That's what can get you ahead. If you are the person going for the job and has the same credentials as the other person, but you have something creative you can offer, um, that, that can set you aside. And, and I find, too, that people that are, um, that are very successful at what they do, no matter what it is, they're creative about it.